Advertising is a mix of art and fact. In this video, I'm going to talk about five advertising campaigns that changed India forever. Most of you would be aware how brands try to fool us through their ads. However, this video is much deeper debunking their unethical strategies, lies, how tactfully they leverage our blind love for our favorite celebrities against us, and what role does government agencies play when all this happens. These campaigns have been so impactful that they became a major reason in pushing India from a nation with unprecedented food habits to a nation with all kinds of diseases. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Starting with number 5 on the list are fairness creams. Since 1954, the only cream in the Indian market was Vico Turmeric whose ads focused on skin glow and repair of the skin due to antimicrobial properties of turmeric and sandalwood oil. However, in 1975, Hindustan Unilever launched Fair and Lovely which took the beauty industry by a storm. With a product that had no ingredient that significantly helped in skin whitening. This is cream, not fairness treatment. Hai. Its advertisements would portray how a dark-skinned woman always fails, be it a dance competition, an interview, or an air hostess, or while wooing a groom. But she would suddenly become the next Kareena Kapoor by religiously whitening her skin with fair and lovely. And we thought skill set was most important for success. Visuals depicted a skin color scale that would go from dark skin to fair skin within six weeks. Their marketing campaign was criticized for promoting colorism. Unilever, however, said that 90 percent of the Indian women want to use whiteners as it is aspirational, like losing weight. Capitalizing on this mindset, Imami launched its Fair and Handsome for Men in 2005. Such ads had a serious negative effect on the confidence of majority dark-skinned men and women in India. Yet again in 2007, Hindustan Unilever played the same cards with their another beauty product, Pond's White Beauty, whose advertisement showed Saif Ali Khan preferring fair-skinned Neha Dupia over dark-skinned Priyanka Chopra. Immediate action was taken against it and Unilever had to suspend that. The Indian ad watchdog agency Sky had even slammed these brands that dark-skinned people should not be portrayed as unsuccessful to promote their products. Later, Fair and Lovely had to comply with it and it can be seen in their latest advertisements. However, an irreparable damage has already been done. So we can understand how these famous personalities whom we love and admire do not take responsibility of what they are promoting. Companies on the other hand get away paying negligible fines. Left are the consumers or fans who were mentally scarred and cheated for life. Watch out. Number 4 on the list is Colgate. In the good old times, things were very simple. Indians would use neem and babul tree branch twigs and tooth powders made out of herbs and spices to keep their oral health in check. However, it was in 1937 when India saw its first modern toothpaste when Colgate Palmolive, a US-based company, launched Colgate in India. Eager to capture the market, their ad campaigns claimed to eradicate almost all oral health problems, plus it tried to woo the children through its sweet mint taste. This straight away gave a wrong message to kids who have a tendency to ingest the toothpaste. As Colgate offered good taste as opposed to spices and twigs which were bitter and also gave an instant refreshing feel, it was a super hit among the Indians. However, little did they know that this artificially flavored fluoridated toothpaste came with many warnings. But there was no looking back for Colgate. Other players like Pepsodent and Closeup tried to do everything to eat up its share but mostly failed. Every now and then Colgate would come with new ad tricks to woo its consumers. Colgate's famous tagline, 3 out of 4 dentists recommend Colgate was highly misleading. In reality, the surveys were telephonically done and the dentists recommended many brands including Colgate and not just Colgate. That meant that the dentist even recommended Closeup and Pepsodent or some other tooth powder equally. Shocking most of the time these brands simply sponsor the research scientists in their favor. On this dentist tagline, Colgate was smashed by a notice by ASA, UK's ad watchdog agency. However, the funny part is that when the later researchers confirmed that twigs and spices were more effective in keeping the oral bacteria at bay, Colgate and other competitive brands came up with the same toothpaste in a new avatar which had the pinches of these herbs and spices so that they can boast of them on the label. Remember this ad? Oh. 
आपके टूथपेस्ट में नमक है वॉट इज इवन मोर शॉकिंग इज दैट कोलगेट पेटेंटेड एन एज ओल्ड इंडियन फॉर्मूला ऑफ लाल दंत मंजन पाउडर एज इट्स ओन इन कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस इवन क्लोज अप एंड पेप्सिडेंट जम्प द गन्स टू फाइंड अ प्लेस इन द हार्ट ऑफ देयर कंज्यूमर्स एवरी नाउ एंड देन दीज ब्रांड्स come up with the same old wine in a new bottle just to fill their pockets strategically so basically after colgate entered the indian oral care market people changed their way of living from the no side effects twigs and tooth powders to the poisonous toothpastes currently colgate india valuation stands at 40000 crores and all this at the cost of indian people's health and with ever increasing dental issues number 2 on the list is coca cola coca cola's entry into india like in many other markets came on the back of pure opportunism india had become independent in 1947 and within 3 years coca cola had already established a bottling plant in new delhi coke's initial ad campaigns targeted the youth as they positioned themselves as a fun refreshing drink it was an instant hit probably it was the only soft drink with a fizz before that indians were used to drinking local fruit sherbets nimbu pani and all that good stuff interestingly every one bottle of coke used 2.5 times the water what was shocking was that by 1970s only 10% of the indian villages had the access to safe drinking water while 90% of the villages had the access to coca cola in the eyes of the indian government coca cola being more accessible than water was a very bad sign but overthrowing the american soft drink giant was not easy but it happened in 1977 with foreign exchange regulation act coca cola had to move out of india it was after this that local soft drink brands like thumbs up limca gold spot and double seven etc boom pepsi entered the india in late 1980s then in 1993 after globalization coca cola reentered india immediately took over all the small brands for 60 million usd and now its only rival was pepsi then coca cola and pepsi both focused on roping the biggest star of cricket and bollywood for their commercials they would even sponsor the tournaments people would now drink coca cola and pepsi with pride they had no idea how much sugar they were consuming in just one bottle 44 packets of sugar in this one In early 2000 looking to capture the villages Coca Cola in its ground breaking campaign roped in Amir Khan with the tagline thanda matlab coca cola This was also the time when people in villages were already protesting against coke for water pollution and depletion Coke in reply said that they would replenish all the water they have used by 2010 which was highly unlikely then in 2003 something shocking happened which would change the course of these soft drink giants forever center for science and environment came up with the report that 11 soft drink brands including coke and pepsi contained high levels of pesticides this shocked the nation people's trust was broken those celebrities who had promoted these drinks kept their lips tight then in 2004 coke came up with another master stroke with our beloved Amir Khan in the ad acting like an activist triggering the emotional side of people confirmed that coke was safe to jab bhi man kare befikr ho ke peeje so they must have really fixed the issue isn't it no the very next year coke pepsi and others again failed the pesticide test unfortunately by then indians were already addicted to these drinks after all this mess if you check coke's website or their social media accounts they project themselves as if they are some sort of an ngo well the ngo is now worth 195 billion dollars finally number 1 on the list are health drinks health drinks to indians always meant plain milk badam milk besan sheera or some other traditional dry fruit mixes but it all began to change in 1930 when a british company launched malt based horlicks in india the product was pretty straightforward mostly sugar some malt and artificial flavors seriously who would have bought this crap to be added in something like milk which was already nutritious its beginning campaigns projected horlicks to be a mere taste enhancer and a source of extra energy but after independence as the new players like bonvita and compline started to come in the comp- competition increased now every brand in greed of the market share started targeting the kids with their exaggerated false claims horlicks claim two times more immunity compline promised two times more growth bonvita is a drink of real achievers and so on but in reality all these drinks had almost the same ingredients it was nothing more than a gimmick but it paid off now every mother would go out of the way to get their kid a pack of so called health drink the brands kept coming with their new catchy 
taglines and mother would kept buying it for their kids. SK did slam these brands with notices for their misleading campaigns as a gross exaggeration in the absence of authentic evidence. But most of the times by then the ads would already be on TV and the kids were already on to their favorite ones. Today the situation is such that no child would drink milk without adding a spoonful of these artificially flavored malt mixes. As the people all over the world have become aware of their marketing strategies their popularity declined. But that is not the case in India. Euro Monitor estimates that India alone accounts for half of their global sales. It is high time we make a wise decision for our children. So friends these in my opinion were five brand campaigns that changed India forever. The idea behind making this video was to make you understand that how a brand in power can do things to make you buy their product. We can neither rely on our favorite celebs or government to save us from it. Since most people do not even look at the ingredients these big brands do not have any incentive to start making actual healthy products. I am positive that our community can be a big catalyst in this change and we can save not only ourselves but also our friends and family or even the coming generations from this mess. If you are looking for gentle products for your baby, check out Mamart's moisturizing bathing bar, moisturizing daily lotion and deep nourishing wash especially made for babies. All these three products by Mamart are absolutely free from harsh chemicals. No sulfates, no parabens, no artificial colors or synthetic fragrances. They are dermatologically tested and hypoallergenic, which is why Mamart's nourishing body wash won't irritate the eyes of your baby as most other commercial products would. Their bathing bar has a pH 5.5, which is an ideal range. Their body lotion is shea butter and cocoa butter based, which will naturally nourish the skin. Even though all three products are baby products, it can be used by anybody. To buy Mamart's toxin free baby products click on the link down in the description box do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 21% off on your order so friends that's all for this video i hope you found it to be helpful if yes and if you would like to see a part 2 of this video then please give this video a big thumbs up you can now support my work on patreon so that i can bring more well researched videos for you please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram where i regularly do Q&A sessions. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.